Welcome to our Basel II training program. We are still talking about the operational risk, and today we are going to speak about the alternative standardized approach. The alternative standardized approach provides a different exposure indicator for two of the eight business lines, retail banking and commercial banking. In the alternative standardized approach, a gross income is replaced by the credit volume in term of outstanding loan and advances multiplied by a factor M fixed at 0.035 set by Basel as the exposure indicator for retail and commercial banking business lines. The loan and advances are non-risk weighted and the gross of provision and the factor M represent the medium ratio of a gross income from traditional banking to income from total loan and advances in G10 countries. Using the alternative standardized approach, the operational risk capital charge for retail banking and commercial banking will be based on the following formula. At this stage, just look at the formula and we will explain it later. For the other six business lines, the calculation of operational risk capital charge will be based on the gross income and beta factor for that business line, as prescribed under the standardized approach. The following table shows how to calculate the capital charge for operational risk using the alternative standardized approach. I'm sure that you are familiar with this table because we solved several examples on the same table when we were talking about the standardized approach. So I recommend to go back and see the tutorial on Basel II operational risk standardized approach to refresh your memory. And I will only focus on the new condition in this example. So let's start. The exposure indicator for retail banking in year one is 700, which is the result of multiplying a 20,000, which represent outstanding loans and advances, by M factor, which is 0 0.035, giving the result of 700. And the exposure indicator for retail banking in year two is 875. Okay, now let's see the exposure indicator for retail banking in year two, which is as shown here, 875. This figure is the result of multiplying 25,000, which represents outstanding loan and advances by the M factor again, which is 0 0.035. And the exposure indicator for retail banking again in year three as shown here is 945 and this figure is again the result of multiplying 27,000 which represent outstanding loans and advances by M factor which by now I'm sure that you know it by heart 0 0.035 now let's see the exposure indicator for commercial banking in year one as shown here the figure is 875 and this is the result of multiplying 25,000 which represent outstanding loans and advances again by the M factor which is 0 0.035 and the exposure indicator for commercial banking in year 2 in this example is 910 and this figure is the result of multiplying 26,000 which represent outstanding loan and advances multiplying by M factor which is 0 0.035 and the exposure indicator again for commercial banking in year 3 in this example is 980 and this figure again is the result of multiplying 28,000 which represent outstanding loan and advances by the M factor and next we are going to do exactly what we did when we were explaining the standardized approach so my dear if you feel that you need to refresh your memory just go to Basel II operational risk 
standardized approach tutorial. It was really my pleasure to be with you in explaining the alternative standardized approach. Thank you. Further options are available at national discretion under the alternative standardized approach for calculating the operational risk capital charge. Available options relate to using loan and advances in commercial and retail banking business lines and the gross income in the other six business lines as the exposure indicators with different beta factor combination. So let's see these options. Option 1 using a common beta factor of 15% for commercial loan and retail loans and the standardized approach beta factor for the other six business lines. Option 2 using the standardized approach beta factor of 15% and 12% and respectively for commercial loan and retail loans and a common beta factor of 18% for the other six business lines. Option 3 using a common beta of 15% for commercial loans and retail loans and a common beta factor of 18% for the other six business lines. My dear, good night and remember that learning always can be fun. So have fun while you are learning. Yes, yes, yes.